and what's news around the world today. Some wisdom skills along the way. Oh, and a song to hum along with and sway. Get your perfect entertaining start to the day. At 9 a.m. every weekday morning with Mahima's, Mahima's Good, Good Morning, morning Bay. आपके प्यारे महिमा के द्वारा फालतू रानी लेकर आपके लिए कॉ ड्राइव टाइम शो दिंग इंफॉर्मेशन राइट है actually banjan yeah not as news casters we not in that thing we just like you know it's like having gappe in the morning with your friends and family right learning more about it right that's for training uh-huh. and uske baad bahut jankari milega beech beech mein thoda bahut hum log entertainment dal dete hain like i keep talking in between so entertainment aa jata hai um and of course otherwise to we have the dry news coming from fal training for sure uh what yeah i'm mean, just like you know yeah, even now you're just so distracted my goodness bhai bhai jab tak in stuck hai acha hai hamare liye taki hum log ja sakte hain hamara interesting update of what's happening on the roads banjan raste ka हाल जो हम लोग आपको देते हैं टोटली सस्ते में It's time for the Bandu traffic update. Call us from wherever you are at 408-912-2479. Yeah, 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 yeah. अगर आप कहीं बैठके हो और यहाँ पे आप हमने शेयर नहीं किया उसके बारे में डोंट वरी अबाउट वी टाइट कवर द एंटायर बे एरिया स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम फादर स्मोस रीजन लाइक फॉर इंस्टेंस दर्ज अ रिपोर्ट ऑफ एन एक्सीडेंट कोल्यूशन ऑन सिक्स एटी साउथ बाउंड नॉर्थ ऑफ द नॉर्थ मेन स्ट्रीट इन वॉल नॉट क्रिक या या वी गो ऑल द वे देयर आल्सो यस वी कवर ऑल द रीजन बिकॉज़ वी नो बिकॉज़ आर पीपल आर लिस्टर्स देयर इन दोस सो रोड्स इट कैन सीम्स काइंड ऑफ अ कंजेस्टेड रोड्स राइट नाउ इन बर्कली हेडिंग टुवर्ड्स द 80 ब्रिज एक्चुअली नॉट मेनी इंसिडेंट्स रिपोर्ट एस अब बट द ट्रैफिक इज काइंड ऑफ कंजेस्टेड ओवर देयर सो वॉच आउट फॉर दैट फेमोन ड्राइव इन सैन लियन रो एट द 580 वेस्ट वेस्टबाउंड वेस्ट ऑफ द फेमोन ड्राइव एक्चुअली देयर इज एन एक्सीडेंट ओवर देयर व्हिच इज स्लोइंग डाउन on traffic no it's not actually i don't see much of a traffic there but csp is on the scene and the report has been uh, just been uh, sent to, sent to us in livermore area the zebra tractor trailer on 580 westbound exiting at the airway boulevard livermore uh, the left lane is, seems to be having some kind of congestion and uh, let's look what's happening towards the north but the redwood city there's a vehicle fire on 84 west eastbound at the middle field road the vehicle fire is kind of creating a, a kind of a blockage over there so watch out for that this actually is um, backed up all the way until the uh, is that the uh, i'm sorry but i'm trying to see near the redwood junction actually so uh, it's from the redwood village all the way to redwood junction is the blockage over there so it's a huge backlog because of the vehicle fire watch out for that this lane is uh, kind of uh, looking risky if you look at me in such with the with the photographs and everything but yeah um and apart from that south if you come down all the way south towards um, the two, uh, 680 there is an accident uh, with injuries unfortunately south bound 680 north of 280 uh, uh, near the uh, in the exactly in the intersection of 101 but yeah the right shoulder is um, blocked for some reason uh what so the only reason is that people are stopping go pretty much in that region so watch out for that and drive very very carefully banjan weather wise if you look at it, it's going to be a nice weather you know i told you yesterday it's up's going sunny all through the week uh, it's not going to be as hot it was yesterday i day first of all today today i think you should not have worn your uh, shorts why uh, because it's going to be kind of cold today for me no when have i dressed ac- according to the weather Ve- no <laughs> sorry don't you please use the right words when have you dressed appropriately whatever for the weather remember. for the weather come on jet it's got to be somewhere in the uh, uh, i think 70s that much uh, but uh, the weekend is going pretty hot and nice it's be nice if you want to go for a picnic probably it's a good time i am seeing a lot of people nowadays being more uh, uh, free and not wearing masks and walking around please guys some more time thoda aur pen lo yaar one more few more days uh, 
uh, because we are still still in the shelter in place. We might be in whichever tier you're talking about, Banjan. As long as we are able to, um, you know, get this uh, get out of this pressure system, we have to get some kind of critical mass in terms of people vaccinated so we can start working on the herd immunity part of it and get the virus out of our system. So until then, my my request to everybody out there is please wear your mask. It is the 414th day of our sheltering in place, and let's not um, let's hope we don't get that any kind of uh, you know the the kind of surges happening in other parts of the world. Uh, nowadays, Seriously. I've heard of I've heard of things happening even ne Nepal also is getting up. Uh, um, we started reporting uh, many of these cases right now, Banjan. So oh. we'll talk about that for sure. But so, Pele, what we're going to do? We we'll go check out what's happening with the headlines. Falthani, can we go or why don't you just give us the news right now, Falthani? What's happening, um, you know, nationwide or uh, locally? Yeah, absolutely, Alta Baba. Um, let's get started uh, from the Radio Nihari studios right here in the Silicon Valley, Banjan. This is the morning edition of our um, news right here on Good Morning Bay. That is every day of the week, Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. If you missed uh, some portion of this, you can definitely catch up on our YouTube channel and look up Radio Dihari, so look up Good Morning Bay, or you could also go to our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Radio Dihari. So if you're one of those uh, lucky people who are sitting at home and are sipping on your cup of coffee and uh, just want to catch up on the news rather than stare at the screen all day long, all you need to do is uh, turn on facebook.com forward slash Radio Dihari's and click on the bell icon so you get notified every time we go live and you get your just the right fix of news um, first thing in the morning with your shot of uh, coffee, your cup of joe or whatever uh, floats your boat. President Joe Biden on Wednesday threw his support behind waiving intellectual property rights for COVID-19 vaccines, uh, bowing uh, to mounting pressure from Democratic lawmakers and more than 100 other countries, but angering pharmaceutical companies. Biden voiced his support for a waiver, a sharp reversal of the previous U.S. position in remarks to reporters, uh, followed swiftly by a statement from his top, top trade negotiator, Catherine Tai, who backed negotiations at the World Trade Organization. This is a global health crisis and the extraordinary circumstances of the COVID-19 pandemic call for extraordinary measures, Tai said in a statement amid growing concern that big outbreaks in India could allow the rise of vaccine-resistant strains of the deadly virus undermining a complete global recovery. If you remember, Vinajan, um, uh, uh, Dr. Anthony Fauci had uh, made a statement not so long ago that even if there's one person who has COVID-19, right? Isn't that what was shared? Yeah. Um, even there's yeah. one person who has COVID-19 um, uh, and is sick with it, the world is not rid of the problem because, um, you know, it could very quickly mutate and spread to other people as well. A much lower percentage of black, Hispanic and Asian secondary school students are enrolled in full-time in-person learning in the United States than their white peers, Education Secretary Miguel Cardona said on Thursday. Even when offered in-person options, many black, Hispanic and Asian students, as well as multilingual learners and students with disabilities are still full learning fully remote, Cardona said in a statement. He said urgent action must be taken at the national and local level to get more kindergarten through 12th grade students um, and schools reopened full-time this spring and address the inequities that persist um, as the coronavirus pandemic abates. Authorities are monitoring the data closely and reaching out to states and school districts that are not offering full-time in-person learning, Cardona said in an interview with MSNBC. <clears throat> As COVID-19 actually um, appended education during the past year, Banijan, um, now uh, what has happened is schools are turning the focus to mental health of students who are still reeling from the pandemic. Uh, let's talk about the case of a Pennsylvania middle school teacher, Jennifer Lundberg, who often began her lessons on English uh, gauging the mental well-being of her students. Sometimes she would turn the lights off and dedicate a few minutes of in-person class to walking the kids through exercises that asked them to identify stressors that they were experiencing. 
excuse me, with her own teenage daughter suffering from bouts of depression and anxiety, which were brought on by the pandemic. That's right, Panjan. There has been um, a, a surge in mental health uh, issues with uh, teenagers, adolescents, tweens, even children as young as 10, 11, and 12 uh, during this particular pandemic. And this veteran teacher saw evidence all around her of the urgent need for mental health support for young people. They're struggling in a way that I feel like a lot of times they don't even have words for. Students have left in the middle of the day to go to the ER to get evaluated because of um, severe bouts of anxiety. Uh, so educators across the country agreed students' mental well-being became a bigger priority after the pandemic forced schools to shut down or operate with a mix of remote and in-person learning. Some students struggle to focus and isolation, worry and depression has taken a toll on many. A Reuters survey earlier this year of U.S. school districts serving more than 2.2 million students found that a majority reported multiple indicators of increased mental health stresses among students. So this has led to a flood of new funding and initiatives aimed at helping schools navigate the pandemic's aftermath. I do want to put in a quick plug here, Banijan, especially if you have a teenager or you have a child who is in distance learning or for that matter has endured this, um, you know, this entire pandemic and they seem seemingly fine to you regardless of whether they have a mental health situation or not. A, it is not a, the, please get over the stigma of, oh, my child has anxiety or depression. Get them the support that they need. Second thing, get them enrolled in Pragnya. Uh, that's right, Banijan. This is an organization that works with neurodiverse individuals. And the goal of Pragnya is not only to work with neurodiverse individuals, but to also raise the Pragnya amongst neurotypical individuals to live a developmentally oriented life. Um, so the the practices that we uh, put in place at Pragnya um, actually have enhanced the the quality of life of a lot of teenagers and a lot of adolescents and a lot of uh, families that have been part of the program. You want to get more information about that, please go to pragnya.org. Again, P R A G N Y A.org because Pragnya relies heavily and draws heavily from Eastern philosophies, Vinjan, and uh, concepts of mindfulness and wisdom therapy which is uh, what is employed to be able to bring about a neurodiversity acculturation, the expansion of the sense of self um, and, uh, you know, seeking, um, uh, seeking the uh, compassion and also uh, experiencing compassion and uh, gratitude uh, in being part of a bigger community is what um, adds to the well-being of a lot of uh, people who are involved at Pragnya. So I would urge every single one of you, please do go ahead and check out Pragnya. Pragnia.org for more information. A new uh, law that restricts the use of uh, absentee ballot drop boxes for the early voting period adds new identification requirements uh, for requesting such ballots and requires voters to reapply for absentee ballots in each new general election cycle. Previously, Florida voters only had to apply once every two election cycles. This law also gives partisan election observers more power to raise objections and um, require uh, people offering voter assistance to stay at least 150 feet away from polling places and increase from the num uh, previous 100 foot radius. Republican legislators in, a d in dozens of states, especially after Trump's election laws, have pursued measures to restrict voting rights. This is literally like taking away their basic right to franchise, Vanuja. Uh, in the aftermath of uh, Donald Trump's uh, false claims of the 2020 election being stolen from him through widespread voting fraud. Lawmakers in the Texas House of Reps were poised on Thursday to advance sweeping new voting limits despite opposition from numerous businesses. In uh, Florida, Governor Ron DeSantis has signed this Republican-backed law imposing new voting curbs. So you can get more information about that on MediaMahima.com. In uh, local news, a vegetation fire that burned uh, 13 acres near the Antioch Marina has been extinguished um, after apparently sparking in a homeless encampment early Thursday morning. A Contra Costa County Fire Protection District captain said the blaze was reported at 3.24 a.m. near 1 Marina Plaza. 
Uh, the uh, an East Bay school, high school, is dealing with a COVID-19 outbreak after the school says a number of students attended an off-campus gathering. The Las Lomas High School principal confirms that 21 students have tested positive over the past three weeks. Another 100 have been told to quarantine. Health officials say some of the students attended a party at a private home in mid-April, leading to this outbreak. Um, it apparently was a single event, Contra Costa County Supervisor Candace Anderson has said. That's what our contact tracing is showing. And unfortunately, they weren't following the precautions that should have been followed. Um, and uh, finally, Banajan, two Asian women have been uh, continued to be receiving medical care and have been hospitalized after being attacked brutally in San Francisco. Um, an Asian grandmother is recuperating from emergency surgery after her family says she was stabbed in San Francisco at a bus stop on Tuesday afternoon. Police said she was one of the two senior Asian women who was stabbed by the same man in what appears to be two completely unprovoked attacks. Um, and uh, Patricia Lee sells bouquet of flowers at a stand near 4th and Market Street before the attacks. She said she noticed a man holding a knife on his right side. So uh, if you want to... Uh, read up on this story but uh, it's being treated now i think they're investigating it to see if it is a hate crime you can get more information on mediamahima.com that was the news from across the united states and also uh, here locally in the bay area the world news will be coming up shortly and of course before we go to the world news but how about we go and check out the song i have picked for you which is going to become world news anyway Banjan. oh my god what a wonderful choice the song is i have seen. really yeah, I have a nice song coming for you from a movie called Cocktail in John, which actually talks about friendship, right? Uh, music by Pritam, and uh, you know who the actors are, right, Fatwani? Uh, yeah, of course. Who? Stephanie Khan, yeah. Deepika and, Padukone, and, and I don't know the other one. Diana Panty. Ah, exactly. So enjoy the song, Banjan. We'll be back right after this call, Tumi Bandhu Sakhatim. All right. Um, following on the heels of what uh, President Joe Biden is now saying with regard to the COVID patent, right? Um, the European Union is also discussing, uh, is willing to discuss a proposal to waive intellectual property rights for COVID-19 vaccines. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen said on Thursday as drug makers fought their ground as their share prices tumbled. U.S. President Joe Biden on Wednesday voiced uh, support for a waiver in a sharp reversal of the U.S. position and his top trade negotiator. As I mentioned and shared with you before, Catherine Tai swiftly backed negotiations at the World Trade Organization. The World Health Organization said in April that of 700 million vaccines administered around the world, only 0.2% had been in low-income countries. Um, a recent surge of infections in India, the world's second most populous country, has underlined this particular point. He has been poisoned. He has been jailed. He is one of Hal Tubaba's favorite uh, international um, politicians to follow. 
uh, and his close aides are either being per- prosecuted, persecuted or have fled abroad. His anti-Kremlin opposition movement is now also likely to soon be outlawed as extremist. Yet, Alexei Navalny and his supporters continue to work on ways to remain a thorn in President, uh, President Vladimir Putin's side, even as one of his most important financial backers says the movement in its current form is finished and will take time to rebound. In the eyes of Kremlin, um, the only half meaningful political weapon that the Navalny camp has left in its campaign for tactical or what it calls smart voting against the ruling uh, United Russia Party in a parliamentary election in September, according to three people close to Russian authorities. Navalny supporters are said to be barred from that particular election via a court case due to unfold later this month and planned legislation unveiled on the parliamentary website on Tuesday that would ban extremists from running for office. Oh my God. What a world we're living in, huh? What? It's the 21st century and anything that they're going to suppress him from running, to suppress opposition. It just feels like we're back in that era. Uh, the Führer era. Anyway, a mixed martial arts fighter who joined anti-coup protests in Myanmar was wounded by a homemade bomb and later arrested. The military junta said on Thursday among blasts in at least uh, three cities as the Janta battles to assert its control over the country in Myanmar. Fo Tho, uh, who, is, uh, who is 36 years old, was uh, arrested in a hospital while receiving treatment for leg wounds sustained while testing a homemade bomb late on Wednesday at a Yangon gym. Uh, the military's Mya Baddi TV said. So you're saying that they claim that he was actually making the bomb and he goofed up. Yeah, that's what they're saying. But oh, then there wow. have been there have been like uh, uh, blasts in three different cities that have been happening to disperse the protester crowd. Uh, he was among the four people detained and uh, accused of colluding to commit violent acts. Government uh, modeling had, well, let's see, hopes of uh, India's rampaging second wave of COVID-19 speaking were set back on Thursday as record daily infections and deaths were again reported and as the virus spread from cities to villages that were poorly equipped to cope. Government modelling had forecast a peak by Wednesday in infections that have overwhelmed the healthcare system with hospitals running out of beds and medical oxygen. A record 412,262 new cases and 3,980 deaths were reported just in the past 24 hours. Um, uh, Taking the total infections past 21 million and the overall death toll to 230,168 the health ministry data showed the tem- this temporarily halts speculations of a peak Rijo M. John, a professor at the Indian Institute of Management in the southern state of Kerala said on Twitter <clears throat> while New Delhi and several other cities have been hardest hit so far limited public health care including a dearth of testing facilities means that the threat is grave in rural areas that are home to nearly 70% of India's 1.3 billion population. It's not the most conventional way to get to the hospital, but the with Delhi running short of ambulances, authorities have now turned to some of the city's ubiquitous three-wheeled auto rickshaws to make shift uh, to make them into makeshift ambulances to ferry COVID-19 patients. Actual ambulances are hard to come by as a devastating surge in cases overwhelms the healthcare system. Families have had to make their own arrangements, including paying exorbitant amounts to private ambulance operators to take the to the hospital. So the Delhi government in association with a non-profit organization has kitted out more than a dozen auto rickshaws with hand sanitizers, face masks, while oxygen cylinders are also provided on a need basis. The service which officially began on Tuesday is free, apparently. So auto rickshaws are now going to ferry a COVID-19 patients. Uh, also, Banijan, there is a news uh, that um, with regard to tracking, right? The co- good news is that the vaccines are working against a new virus strain circulating in India that spread to several other countries. Huh? It spread to several other countries already? The Indian variant, Aldubhavad? That's why I said any- Nepal actually has some uh, cases coming up right now. Oh. Yeah. 
Well, the bad news is that it would uh, it won't be the only new version of the pathogen to emerge from an outbreak of this scale, underscoring the urgency of mapping other possible variants that may be currently racing through India's tightly packed population of uh, 1.4 billion people. The, as the infection surged by more than 300,000 cases for 14 straight days, pushing uh, India's tally past 20 million, the country's limited ability to track new mutations emerging uh, from its outbreak is now a serious and growing concern for scientists. Uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, in the meanwhile, also has said, um, uh, reviewed uh, the vaccination rates statewide um, and also district-wise uh, COVID situation. And he said uh, that it is extremely important that states don't lose the pace of vaccinations. Uh, the PM was informed about 12 states which have more than 1 lakh active COVID-19 cases. He was also apprised of about the districts with high uh, disease burden and the need to ensure quick and holistic containment measures were also discussed um, as the PM also reviewed the availability of uh, medicines. He was briefed about the um, rapid augmenting of uh, production of medicines, including remdesivir, uh, the Prime Minister's office said in a statement. And also in the meanwhile, Banujan, let us tell you that uh, Russia has authorized single uh, dose Sputnik light COVID vaccine for use. And they also are probably going to be sending this out to India. And um, in a disturbing news from Mumbai, Banujan, the second wave of COVID has claimed more children. More kids have died. Hospitalization rates are one and a half times higher this year than last year. So more on all of this, you will actually get on MediaMahima.com. Stay safe, uh, stay happy. And of course, we will see you tonight live on uh, the Pam Pam Show at 5. Tab tak ke liye dijiye. Have yourselves a terrific Thursday. Uh, this is Deepika Padukone and you're listening to me on Radio De Hotties with Azu Baba and Fartu Rani, where entertainment just got hotter.